Okay, welcome to the video. Six Hour Guy here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove and install your striker assembly in your P365. Uh, a couple different reasons why you might have to do this. Maybe you went and got a brand new upgraded slide. Um, these slides usually come stripped with no hardware, no extractor kit, no striker assembly, no sights, no recoil spring assembly, no barrel. Um, just completely naked and you got to swap all your old stuff over to the new slide. Um, if you're just at a higher round count, the springs get fatigued. There's a little spring in here. Um, or maybe it's starting to fail, um, and that's another reason why you need to get that switched out. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So a couple tools I use, an armor's hammer, and then a 564 punch. There's a little pin we need to punch out. And then an armor's block or something I can rest my slide on so I'm not going to damage my bench or my slide. Um, anything like this, if you don't feel comfortable doing it, Basically, I would recommend you bring it to your local armor. He can take care of this stuff for you. Um, if this is something you feel comfortable doing yourself, then I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. So let's get started. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward and very easy to do. Um, anybody I feel can do this. Um, basically, just get yourself a nice armor's block. This one's from the SIG Armor. Um, this is specific for the 320, but I use this thing for everything. Um, a roll of uh, painter's tape or something will work fine. Anything that we can rest this on where it's not going to mark up our slide or what we're working on. So it's also a good idea you could put painter's tape over your slide, um, especially if it's Cerakoted and you don't want to, you know, chance risking uh, scratching that all up. So we're going to move our recoil spring assembly in our barrel. And then on our extractor, there's just one pin holding it in. It's right in this hole. It goes right down through here. And you can see the hole in the bottom. It's starting to poke its way out through there. So what we're going to do is we're going to knock that pin out from the bottom out the top. We're not going to knock it out all the way, just enough to where it clears the extractor and the extractor can come out. Um, if you're getting a kit and it has a brand new roll pin in it, then obviously you want to just knock this all the way out. Okay. So I'm going to set this on my armor's block. And then I'll use my five or 564 punch. I'm going to start tapping that out. And like I said, I don't need to go all the way. So I think that's going to be just fine. And then what I need to do is I need to hold my extractor because it's under spring tension right now. If I pull my punch out, that spring's going to go flying. There's a little buffer in there that'll go flying as well. So we'll push that in. We'll pull our pin or our punch out. And then we'll just let that fall out just like that. And that's all that are, there is to your extractor. So we have the extractor itself. Okay. We have a little spring right here, and then a little buffer, just a little piece of rubber. Um, the new kit that I got in the other one, the buffer was orange, um, doesn't matter. So when we put this back together, um, good idea first is to make sure you clean all the carbon out of here, okay? Clean it all up, this is a good time to do that so you can get all inside there, okay? And then I like to take um, some grease, just put a dot right on my extractor where that spring's going to go. It's going to help hold that while I put this back in. I'll stick that extractor right to it, just like that. Put the buffer in there. And then we can slide this right into our slide. Now it's got to go a little bit forward. I get the spring going in first, just like that. And then it's got to go a little bit forward. It's got a hook around the end. Okay, that hook in the front has got to clear the inside here and then just push it back. Back and down and in. And that's it. Okay, so then I'm going to press that in just like that. I'm going to use the deller inside of my hammer so I don't mar up my slide. Push that pin back in. And that's enough to hold it. And then we're going to keep pushing it in until. I usually go, here's this lower section here, just till the pin starts to come through there and then I'll push it back in just so it's recessed just a little bit, okay? This is where your FCU um, rides inside the slide so you don't want to interfere, interfere with that pin, okay? So I'm gonna basically hammer that in. And then you can see that pin is sticking out just a little bit too far. So we'll push it back in this way a little bit. 
until it's just recessed. It's right a little bit lower than this right here. Okay, and that's it. It's that easy. So we'll clean it all down. We'll put our barrel back in. Recoil spring. And we'll put it onto our FCU. And that's it, that easy. Very simple, it only takes a few minutes. Um, it's a good idea to perform maintenance on these, especially if you're at a higher round count, okay? Um, so there you go. I hope this has helped. As always, thank you for watching and have a good day.